know my beloved. What blows my mind at this time is all this mythology. Everybody has a story. Just because I have a story, my life, so forth and so on, in this ring. And I know everybody is not slated for for elevation. I know that it's it's a lot of people out here who refuse enlightenment. I know everybody's not on this journey. I I realize that, but it but it but it absolutely blows my mind that here I am coming to you with absolute truth, verifiable truth. I'm pointing you to each of us. And Egypt never fails. You see, because if you if you truly understand what the Egyptians were all about, the greatest civilization ever, one of the greatest one that you can put your hands on and bear witness to, one of the greatest civilizations ever, and it was all black. Yes, it was. And in one of my dispensations, I can't tell you when. I can't cite the what position I was in. I can't tell you the eighteenth day. Can't tell you the twenty first. But we as a people were one. We created the white man. This is not verifiable in the in the history books and so forth and so on. DNA is bearing it out. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad spoke. And I amen. Now, I don't know if anybody else said, man, but I'm telling you what I experienced, I was there. See, this is not a deception. This is verifiable by the Bible. Even if the Bible is fiction, this is what we as a people believe in and hold to because we have been indoctrinated. We have been poisoned by this book, but we believe that. Many of us believe in the return of Christ, and there's nothing wrong with believing in the return of Christ. You see, because I am that return. Just what you must understand. What role you play in the script. Now, all of us are the Christ. Did you hear what I said? I said, all of us are the Christ. That's, what, that's why the, your Bible say, if they say he's here and there, believe them not. Then it goes on to say that the kingdom is within you. You are the Christ. I've told you that. Now, I know I came with a multitude of people when I came to this place. I came with you. And it really blows my mind that you say that you are conscious, that you that you are enlightened, that you're going off into all these very spiritual planes, but you tell me you haven't obtained knowledge of sex. Now, there's a few brothers, amen, that God has led me, allowed me to come across. And I know men are called a few of we speaking the same thing. Now, I don't know what experience they had or what textbooks they read, but I'm coming to you from the speak. I'm verifying truth to you. I'm verifying the story. Even if it's an old story and the story's a lie, I'm verifying it. You believe it. You believe in David and Goliath, and, and, and it could have been just a kid's tale that was told, but we believe it because we were taught. We've been taught it for thousands of years. We've been taught it all our life, but I was actually there. I am the ancient of David. But, yeah, it, it kind of puzzles me, you know, the death of many of my brother. The lack of Death, the lack of remembrance. And I know God didn't give them their man the same time. I know he did. He did. I just so happened to be one who was born with certain time. Born under certain experiences. And, and, and my experiences are not unique to me. Oh, there are many going through my experience. So don't think that I'm an oddball or some some rarity. And see, that's what's so puzzling to me. 
my history is written up in your textbook. If you would only read. Now, there are many ways raised to the sun. Yes, it is. But I want you to know that, that if you spend any time on this planet, if you're on this planet right now, and I know you have, see, they talk about all these children and they come in this generation, and I know that they are various generations. But you came into this DNA, yes, you did. And if you are going within whatever DNA you are housed in your soul, so you, you reference that DNA, see, so your body is your tomb. It is your house. And, and yes, we have various, all we are known as human beings, we interbreed, so so on. But this is the, the genetic makeup of my house. And I know that you are the angel of days, even as I am the angel. Even genetics. And if you're accessing knowledge of self, this mythology ought to be in you. You see, because I can grab a crust, I can grab a rock and extract data from it. But you find that strange. What you think of a silicon chip is? What you think silica is? Is one of the most uh, prevalent uh, uh, minerals, so to speak, in the earth. All rock basically contains. And so I'm coming to you with verifiable now. And I'm verifying you that Egypt never fades. Now, if your third eye is open, then you, and then it was really blind, by buying these astrologers. So called astrologers and astr astronomers. Y'all really blow my mind. Information y'all all be coming with, but you telling me you're an astrologer. And here I am, I'm, I'm going, I hate the I, I don't even want to utter it. My vision ain't what it used to be. I was glad. I used to read the second line from the bottom. You hear me? Without glad. Now, I can have it close to my face and can't see. Sometimes with glasses on still. But anyway, but you say this is your special. This is what you tell me. But I can go outside and look up in the sky and see what you cannot see. No, but you say your third eye, and you, you're talking about how to activate this chakra and that chakra. But you telling me you're seeing something different from me? Am I seeing beyond, or are you seeing beyond me? Please come with it if you're seeing the way. Please come with it. Let me cross this down, because I know what I'm seeing. And I know what is being verified in my life, and I'm not on a pipe dream. You see, because I have conversation. I ain't on no pipe dream at all. And I need y'all to get y'all's mind right. I need you to take your salvation seriously. And I know you ain't taking it seriously because you ain't even read the whole Bible. And if you have read the whole Bible, you misunderstood. Your charge is to be one with God. I repeat that your charge is to be one with source. And if you know source on the level that I know, and I know some stars shine brighter than others, and I know I'm a bright star. This was foretold of me thousands of years ago. My casket was overlaid with silver. You ever seen somebody with silver on? And you've seen people with gold on, haven't you? But when you see that silver, you see diamonds. Oh my God, you see something that's given a cut. Something brighter than, than all of it. You see that capstone, you see that star. Good God, I'm mad. I am the brightness above the sun. 
the doth of pain. I'm not lying to you, my beloved. But I know your greatness. I don't want you to think I'm bragging. I ain't bragging at all. You see, knowledge of self is knowledge of God. Talk back to me when you receive knowledge of self. You see, we've been on this planet a long, long time. Yes, we have. As a spiritual being, as a physical being, that memory is in your very vessel. Yes, it is. I don't give a damn what time you came in from us. You came into this physical body. And this physical body had record and information that's imparted to your soul. Yes, it is. Now, when you obtain knowledge, you say, you'll understand why my war ham is blue. And you will understand that the weapons of our warfare are not calm. And you will understand that we are able to sever and destroy all unrighteousness that we by the sword that proceeded forth from our mouths. I am the voice of God. Now, I don't know what all has to be fold, unfold on this planet to get you to access knowledge of self, to get you to stand up in the courage of God Almighty. And vanquish your enemies. We are the son of God. Now I'm waiting. And, and, and my patience has, has worn thin. It's really worn out. I said I am waiting.